Hi, it's Craig here on my uh, R2 Builders channel. And uh, this video I'm talking about uh, more in depth into the two to three legged transition system. Um, and on this video, I'm describing what uh, I have implemented in my droid, which is a cable drive system for making functions happen. Uh, we have 12 volt motors going into a lot of these droids. Uh, the, the 12 volt motors are very um, cheap and reliable when you start talking about getting your motors from the automobile industry. Windshield wiper motors, um, those are great because they're continuous duty. If you're looking for something a little smaller and a little more compact, uh, a little bit different animal, you can go with something like a like a power window or a power seat motor, but those are not rated for continuous duty. Those ones will sometimes overheat if you run them for more than a couple of minutes. Um, so like on this, uh, in, the, in this instance, I'm using a windshield wiper motor. And what I like about these is these are great. They can be uh, adjusted because they're two speed motors. Uh, you can have like a 40 RPM and like 60, 65, 70 RPM because they are two speed because your windshield wipers are, uh, you know, you have low speed and high speed. Um, most wiper motors are not oscillating where they turn one way for a few degrees, turn back the other way a few degrees. Usually that's done on the exterior of the motor on the arm linkage from the motor to the wipers. These ones will um, simply rotate, um, you know, left or right depending on the polarity. I based this on the fact that uh, we had a lot of uh, builders who were trying to use linear actuators and stuff. And linear, linear actuators are very slow if they're geared properly for strength and stability, meaning uh, they stop and they stay where they're stopped. Um, if you get one that's kind of fast, they're not geared down very much. So when you stop them, they can keep moving if there's uh, stresses. So this was based on the idea of a boat steering cable drive. And I'm going to go in depth on that a little bit. When you have a, like a boat with a, uh, with, with a big giant 100 horse outboard motor on the back um, and you have a steering wheel which has a spool and it has a cable going off into two different sides and as you rotate this spool you're drawing in on one cable and letting out on the other. This is an amazing mechanism because this very small spool here has incredible power over what's happening out here on the business end of it. Um, the motor is in control and not this out here. That's how a, you know, a, a 90 pound child can be in control of a 100 power, a 100 horsepower outboard on a motor rather than, than this motor, which is steering left and right, overpowering the, the, the individual who's at the steering helm. So this is what I did on mine. I have my, um, my two legs on the side of the droid. They're connected by a giant pipe axle here in the center. There's a heavy duty lever on them. And uh, here's this, uh, this, this motor with this spool on there. Now the cable attaches here, it comes down, it wraps around a few times, goes through the center of the spool, and then continues wrapping because I don't want this cable slipping on this spool. Now it comes out this way and attaches here. So now when this, this motor rotates, it draws in on this cable, lets out on this cable, and it forces the legs, both legs, from being vertical to forcing them back. And I'm going to show you on the droid uh, the, the very components that I use to do this. So there it is right there. There's the, uh, the windshield wiper motor. It is installed on the, the body with a heavy-duty bracket and then the spool. And you can see the cable coming down at the front of the droid, wrapping around. It goes through a hole, wraps around, and comes back out the back side here. And uh, here's the big lever that is attached to the pipes that run from the, the, the leg on this side. And it runs out here to the leg on this side. That, uh, that, that giant lever is welded onto a coupler which takes... Those, uh, those two pipes and joins them. There's, uh, there's two bolts on one side. There's two bolts on the other side. And they are very well braced. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got some good 45 degree angles uh, un welded underneath to beef that up. So 
that is how that uh, motor spool cable drive can force both of these legs on the sides to angle back and forth. Now, I've done the same thing on the middle foot as well. We have a gear motor down there with a spool and the cable, and one of those cables pulls the leg directly down. The other cable comes up, goes on this pulley here, and then down so it can pull the mechanism up. Um, the... The, 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 these I cannot uh, emphasize enough that these things have to be built as beefy as heck. I have multiple cable clamps. Um, the mounting points are seriously beefy. There is some incredible stresses on here. And um, this is this is exactly why I went this route. Uh, when I was talking earlier about linear actuators, we did have some builders who were getting linear actuators to take this middle uh, foot here and drop it down and raise it up. And as I was saying, if your if your linear actuator is uh, not geared down very much, the the that middle foot on the ground, those ground forces pushes the foot back up into the body. Unless it's really geared down, well, if it's really geared down, then it's very slow. So I have seen some droids that were done this way, and. It was like, okay, let's see the 232, and it was and it was like took forever for the, the, the foot to drop down, and once it dropped down, then the side legs would angle back, and it would uh, go into three-legged mode. And uh, here's another interesting thing. When the droid goes from two-legged mode to three-legged mode, when these legs go back and the feet angle and the foot hits the ground, if it all stops at about the same portion, you're in no danger of tipping over. However, when you are going back from three-legged mode back to two-legged mode, that middle foot has to stay on the floor as the side legs draw back in and the reclined angled droid comes back to upright position because if you're transitioning back and that middle foot starts raising up right away as everything's drawing back in, this droid's just gonna fall forward. So that was something we learned very early in the club as well. So um, with this droid, I have uh, limit switches and a delay switch. So when it deploys, everything happens at once, but when it retracts, the side legs draw in first until that limit switch is closed, then the middle leg raises. My droids are very simple. I don't have complicated uh, like limit switches that go to programming boards and then these programming boards make things happen through programming. Everything I have is very simple with just limit switches. In fact, you can see right here, there's the top limit switch engaged. That aluminum plate on the leg um, also hits that bottom limit switch down there. And you can see that my limit switches are on slotted holes so they can be fine-tuned once it's all built. Um, if I come around here, maybe we can see the limit switches on the side legs. There they are. Let's see if I can zoom in here. So I put a bicycle seat clamp on that pipe and a bolt, and that bolt has hit the limit switch at the bottom. and when it transitions to three-legged mode, that bolt will hit the limit switch on the top. Um, those ones, I think one screw on the limit switch, the dark screw is on a fixed point, and the silver is a nut and bolt on a slotted hole, so I can pivot those limit switches to fine-tune them a little bit. Um, someday I'll get more in depth on the electronics that I've done. I've got no circuit boards in here for programming and logic, except for speed controllers. So those, those are the only things I have in here for um, for circuit boards is the speed controllers. And I'll go more into depth onto um, switches and um, all that. But this video was talking about 
the guts of the 232. I hope you enjoy this video. I'll catch you later.